Alrighty guys, welcome to your 13th computer networking tutorial. And before I start this tutorial, I want you to know some personal advice. A couple of nights ago, uh, my friends came over, and a couple of them left a paint can, like an old used paint can in my front lawn. So then we, you know, kind of been going back and forth then. Whenever he's sleeping, I leave crap in his lawn. I left a bowling pin in his lawn, and then he left the statue of Jesus on my porch when I was gone. So I need something really good to put in his lawn, uh, you know, either tonight or tomorrow night. So if anyone has any good random ideas of, you know, just crap, funny crap I can put in his lawn, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below, and I'll go ahead and make a vlog about it on my other channel. But anyways, enough about that. It's been a minute, and I didn't even teach you guys about computer networking in this tutorial. I want to go over the ring layout or ring topology. Now this is a little bit different than the bus system that we learned about earlier because first of all, let me just go ahead and draw this first. Say that you have a network and it has a PC, we'll just say this is a usual LAN and you also have a Mac. So let me go ahead and draw a little Mac, we'll say it's a MacBook so here's the keyboard right there and what else can we put in this sweet network uh we'll just say it's a regular uh you know windows 7 laptop so laptop and let's go ahead and add some you know networking gear let's just go ahead and add a server all right so these are some common devices that you would have you know in a typical home network so now let me go ahead and what's a good color for ethernet we'll just say like this color green now what the heck is a ring topology and how does it differ than a bus topology well you can remember it because all of these devices are connected to one main ring so say that this is ethernet and this is your main ring and this is of course all ethernet cord right here and obviously if you were to put it in your house it wouldn't be in the shape of a perfect circle but the entire layout if you step back and look at the you know diagram it will look like it's all connected all your devices are connected to a basic ring system so first of all we notice that there are no terminators. Why is that? Well, it doesn't have a logical beginning and end of a ring, just like a circle, so you don't need anywhere to terminate it. So that's why it's beneficial or better than a bus topology. Um, another thing is that, well, if we look at how data is logically, logically transmitted, say that this laptop, or say that this Mac right here, wants to access this server over here. So what it would do is it would send out a request, basically send out data, and this data would go around the ring in one direction and it would hit each node at a time. So it would first say, okay laptop, do you have the file that I'm looking for? And the laptop is going to be like, dude, I'm not a server. So he's going like, okay, okay, here we go, the server right here server do you have the information that I want and the server's gonna be like yeah buddy I do and then it's gonna keep going because you know this is an electrical signal and it goes everywhere so it's even gonna ask the PC even though it already got the information from the server that's you know part of the thing that you need to understand about a ring topology it hits node by node and even if it reached the destination that it wanted to reach it continues along until it returns to the source node now again as you can see it doesn't really reach an endpoint it just flows in one main direction and eventually it gets what it wants and it always comes back to the source node so that's overall how this ring topology works now even though this is typically the way it works the way they are actually built is there are let me just go ahead and draw this real quick you actually have two rings one let me, I can draw that a little better one right here and another one basically right beside it and whenever we have this say we have four devices one here one here one here and one here the way that these are typically built is you can go ahead and set up two rings where the data flows in this direction on one of the rings and in the opposite direction on another ring so we call both of these you know topologies ring topologies even though this one is you know a very simplistic uh, ring network and this one right here is a more common 
one where they have two rings and the data can flow in opposite direction and it's also better because if the ring breaks in this network we'll say we'll call this the double ring network if one of these rings breaks or the ethernet breaks on it then your network is still going to work so that is this is actually in fact called the ring topology as well but I'm just gonna call it a double ring to differentiate it from my single ring but basically overall in the ring topology it's better than a bus topology because it can higher handle volumes of data better than a bus but the negative part about it is it's usually let me get a good color here it's usually a lot more expensive than a bus topology so if you're choosing between you know a bus and a ring for your home network if you're not worried about money then I would go ahead and go with a ring topology or if you are worried about money then you can go with a bus topology but if you have a lot of volume then I would definitely recommend getting a ring until you see my next videos because in my next couple videos I'm gonna be showing you guys the most common uh, type of topology and this is probably the one that you have in your home right now but for now now we know between you know the differences between a ring and also a bus basically a bus very simplistic has terminators a ring is usually built with two rings so data can flow in either direction handers high, higher volumes better but is usually more expensive and by the way don't forget to give me an idea of something that I can put in my neighbors lawn so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video